A failure of leadership in Flint. That's the message from a federal judge. Today, the city was supposed to pick a long-term water source, but the decision has been delayed, frustrating families even further. 7 Investigator Jim Kirchner is in Flint tonight where people are calling on city leaders to just do their jobs. Among the decisions to be made, should this now famous Flint water plant be renovated? Families in Flint who've lost loved ones with Legionnaire's disease are just getting more frustrated. You just shake your head. <laughs> um, it shouldn't be that hard. In April of 2014, Flint, under control of the state, switched off Detroit water to the Flint River to save money. The river was more corrosive and caused lead and many other contaminants to spread throughout the people. The water was switched back to Detroit, the Great Lakes Water Authority, a year and a half later, and that remains the water source for now. One plan, Flint could enter into a 30-year-long agreement with Detroit. It's just the, the reminder of, again, how incompetent it all was. Or another plan, tap into the Karagandhi pipeline built over to Flint from Lake Huron. But that lake water will also need treatments. The Flint water plant will need between 58 and 67 million dollars in upgrades, taking three and a half years to complete. Remember, 12 people died of Legionnaire's disease in 2014 and 2015, and the future of water safety is foremost for those families. A decision by the Flint City Council has been delayed for months over options and trying to hire an expert. Do your job. Please, just do your job. If you got to stay after school, stay after school, do your job. <laughs> One of the issues driving all of this in this lawsuit, Flint's deal to buy water from Detroit, the Great Lakes Water Authority, expires October the 30th. In Flint, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.